So the analysis we did is assume you have a fusion power plant that's operating. And then at any one time, a meteor strikes it. The whole thing is vaporized. What is the impact of that? So this is worse than you could ever imagine an actual physical scenario. But let's start there. Um, and the answer is you don't need to evacuate the populace nearby the fusion power plant. Um, and one of the keys I think that I come to when I think about this is the fuel. In that in a fusion generator, you are continuously fe feeding in this hydrogen, these deuterium fuels. And at any one time in a helion fusion system and most fusion systems, you have one second of fuel in that system. And so what that means is if you stop turning on, if you stop putting fuel into that system, fusion just stops. But what it also means is that if something really catastrophic happened and it, it, for whatever reason, um, you have all of that fuel that's not in the system. And fusion is so hard to make happen. You hit it with a meteor, you do anything uh, in that nature and fusion doesn't happen. That hydrogen, that heavy water, that deuterium just goes back into the environment safely and cleanly without, without issue. 